Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on everybody? This is Joseph Conlon tonight here on the Big Fight Fuel channel for your Smackdown review on Friday, January 29th, 2021. Tonight we had the final show before the Royal Rumble in just a little bit under 48 hours on the WWE Network. Um, I was going to say that tonight wasn't that bad of a show. But WWE absolutely, completely wasted that second hour with 50 minutes of ridiculousness and overbooked stuff and... The last 50 minutes felt like I was watching Monday Night Raw. And it was completely terrible. But up to that, the show was actually pretty good. Up to that part where we started Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles, you know, the show was actually pretty good. And I feel like if I turned it off after the Kevin Owens Roman Reigns interview, I was going to miss nothing. And that's exactly how it turned out. So we're gonna talk about it tonight. We are not gonna be there. We are not gonna be here that long tonight. We should be out of here in about fifteen minutes or so. So if you guys haven't already though, we got three videos. Two of them are almost a hundred. One of them is at I believe 123 views last time I saw. 123 or 122. Make sure you go check out my Monday Night Raw review on Monday, that's at 96 views. My AEW Dynamite review on Wednesday night, that's at 95 views. And my Royal Rumble preview and predictions last night with TM161, which is at 122 views. I want to give a big thank you to him for coming on to my show. It was absolutely incredible. The feedback was amazing. Uh, we got close to 20 likes in that video, I believe. We got 19 likes. So if you guys haven't already, um, you know, go watch that video. I'm going to put a link in the comments section. So to the people who haven't watched it yet, you got a chance to watch it. And you can watch it. You got, you got tomorrow all day to watch it. And heck, you even got the lead up on Sunday. To go watch it. So please I'm asking you guys. Go check out that preview and predictions. With uh, TM161. Here on the channel. It was absolutely epic. But let's talk about Smackdown. We got Daniel Bryan. Cut, cutting a promo. He cut a very good promo. Uh, up till AJ Styles came out. And interrupted him. He said the one mountain. That he has never climbed before. Is winning the Royal Rumble match. And you get the main event, Wrestlemania. And he said he's got to admit he doesn't know how many Wrestlemania moments he's going to have in his career. Or how many more. Yeah, how many more he's got. This, he, this might be one of his very last. So, um, then he gets interrupted by AJ Styles and Omos. Brian asks why are they here on Raw. And Omos... Said because of the brand to brand invitation. So, you don't forget the brand to brand invitation, which you guys brung up in freaking May. I something like, I don't even remember. You don't forget that, but you forget to book Aleister Black on SmackDown to the fact that he's not even backstage at the shows. That is absolutely ridiculous. But this set up, um, this did set up AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan for the main event of SmackDown tonight. And um, I thought we knew where it was going, but it came that that match came on at nine ten, and I was like, why is it on so early? Clearly. We'll talk about it. Alright, we'll just talk about it. Let's move on though. 
we had Bianca Belair against Bailey, and um, this match was very good. It was probably the second best thing on the show, next to the Roman Reigns Kevin Owens interview. This match was very good. Bianca and Bailey, they're two very good wrestlers. Uh, they're two great wrestlers. I'm not even gonna say very good because they're both great at what they do. They got great chemistry together, and they were having a very good match. Bailey, the story was Bailey was going after the arm of Bianca Belair after Bailey attacked it after the obstacle course challenge last week. And she's going at the arm. And then um, Bianca gives Bailey a right hand at the end, bounces her off the top turnbuckle, uh, KOD, and Bianca defeats Bailey clean. She defeats Bailey clean. Very good match. Right outcome here. Bianca gets interviewed by Kayla Braxton at the end. She acts very emotional. She said, it's been a lot for me in my WWE career so far. Um, a lot of hurdles to climb. And after what, after what Bailey has been putting me through, tonight's win feels so, so great. And the biggest win of my career so far, what would be a bigger win, is me winning the women's Royal Rumble match on Sunday. And you see Bailey in the ring, she's all pissed off and all that stuff. So, um, Bianca won the match tonight. The match was very good. If you guys haven't watched it, I would go check it out. But does this mean that Bailey is going to have a, has a chance? Well, she's got a chance. She's got a pretty good chance, but does this mean that Bailey could win the Royal Rumble match on Sunday? I don't think so. Bailey doesn't need the Royal Rumble. Bailey doesn't need a championship right now. She just had a 400 day plus reign as the SmackDown Women's Champion before she dropped it to Sasha Banks back at Hell in a Cell. She doesn't need to be the SmackDown Women's Champion right now. She could do other things on SmackDown. She's going to be fine. She's there to help others grow right now. That's exactly what she's done with Bianca Belair. I think she's going to be in the final four, absolutely. But she is not going to win. That Rumble match on Sunday, that is Bianca's match to win and only Bianca's match. That is only her match to win. Unless WWE, you know, has someone like a Rhea Ripley win. Like I, like I mentioned last night, Rhea Ripley having a great performance and her possibly winning the match. Unless they do that, uh, this is Bianca's. This is Bianca Belair's Royal Rumble. No if fans or buts. King Corbin versus Dominic Mysterio one on one. Um, fine match. It was fine for what it was. Um, Ray was on commentary. Dominic did some fine things. He's still got to work a little bit. He's still a little green in the ring. But um, he's doing better. King Corbin got the win here with the end of days over Dominic. It's really it. It was fine for what it was. Nothing too memorable. Uh, Ray, Dominic, and King Corbin have all been announced for the men's Rumble match on Sunday. So we are now... 10 spots left in the Rumble match. Uh, we shall see who's going to fill out those 10 spots. So, um, then we got Sasha Banks backstage with Carmella, Somalia, Reginald. And Reginald has a, has a champagne drink to give to Sasha. And Sasha actually compliments him. For, you know, his French accent, his athletic, athleticism. Wow. Oh my god, I can't pronounce that word. Athleticism. My god, I'm embarrassing myself right now. I do not know how to say athleticism, bro. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> That's something I'm gonna have to work on. But, um... Yeah, 
Sasha hands the drink back and she says, um, you know, make sure you give this to Carmella on Sunday after I break her back or something like that. So, you know, WWE hasn't mentioned it in the graphic yet or anything, but I think we're getting this match on Sunday. That's what Sasha said a couple weeks ago. So, yeah. Um, let's move on to the best thing on the show. Shall we? We had Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens interview separate rooms. Uh, Kevin Owens starts off the interview by saying that Roman Reigns... I have beaten Roman Reigns twice. Roman Reigns has needed help to beat me in the TLC match. And needed help uh, to beat me in the uh, in the steel cage match that they had together. He's needed help twice. He can't win on his own. That's what KO says. And then Roman Reigns got into a couple questions for KO. He said, "How's your father? What is your father like?" And KO is like. My father's a great person. He's a really great person. And I love him a lot or something like that. Then he asks if his father's smart. And KO's like, okay, I know where you're going here. I can see where you're going with this. And then Roman Reigns is like, I'm just trying to figure this out because if your father's smart, why aren't you smart? Because he just never goes away. And Roman Reigns calls him a cockroach and all this stuff. And, um... He says, if you're not smart, your father's not smart. And if your father's not smart, your grandfather's not smart. He's just trying to know Kevin Owens, he says. And then Ro uh, uh, Owens is getting pissed off. He, he gets out the, the chair and he starts yelling at the camera that his mother, his, his wife, his kids, his father, they're all proud of the man that he is. Roman Reigns reaches back Paul Heyman. Hits the off button on the remote. And that's the segment. Uh, that's a gif on Twitter already. People are using that. As a gif on Twitter. Excuse me. Uh, this was awesome. This was uh, by far the best thing on the show in my opinion. Roman Reigns. Being an absolute prick. To Kevin Owens in this. It's the final sell. Before the match on Sunday. did it. They did a pretty good job. And like I said last night. Uh, I think I said it all basically. This match is going to be awesome. Kevin Owens is not going to win. Roman Reigns is definitely going into Wrestlemania. As the Universal Champion. But that doesn't mean they can't have an awesome match. And I think this last man standing match. Is going to be an awesome match. Sunday night at the Royal Rumble. Then we get. Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. And the match starts at 9.17. Okay? The match starts at 9.17. And Cesaro's on commentary. Sami Zayn comes out with his conspiracy theories. Big E comes out to beat up Sami Zayn. Daniel Bryan accidentally dives onto Cesaro and Sami Zayn on the outside. So at 9.30, Sami Zayn attacks Daniel Bryan from behind, and then Shinsuke comes out, and this sets up a six-man tag. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care that much. I'm fine with a six-man tag. If you want to let them have a six-man tag, that's fine. So we set up Daniel Bryan, Big E, and Shinsuke Nakamura against AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, and Cesaro. But then this is when it starts to get ridiculous, folks. This right here is when it starts to get ridiculous. The Miz and John Morrison, they come out for some reason. And they attack Big E. Because they were brawling earlier in the night. And they got their revenge on Big E. So they go out there and they attack Big E. Then Otis comes out. He attacks Miz and Morrison. We now have... A nine-man tag with the addition of Otis on Daniel Bryan's team 
and the Miz and John Morrison on AJ Styles' team. And at this point, I'm like, okay, am I watching Monday Night Raw right now, or am I watching SmackDown on Fox? Because I feel like right now I'm watching Monday Night Raw, the way this is going. Like, I'm like, this is terrible. This is an absolute mess. And we know we got all these men fighting. We know what a Royal Rumble is. We've watched a Royal Rumble before. Like, come on. And then, everybody's down. Miz and Morrison are in the ring. Sheamus, uh, Sheamus his, music, his music hits. He gets a tag from Daniel Bryan. He pins... Sami Zayn with a bro kick. Miz and Morrison. They attack Sheamus. And out comes Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman comes out. He attacks AJ Styles. Miz and Morrison run away like cowards. Cesaro eats a power slam. Sami Zayn eats a power slam from Strowman. Strowman's the last man standing, and it pretty much declares that Braun Strowman is entering the Royal Rumble match. Which now makes a 21, and there's 9 spots left. So, you wasted, WWE wasted an entire second hour on this, just... To get Braun Strowman to do running power slams and pretty much declare himself for the Royal Rumble match. Which, um, which Braun Strowman, by the way folks, is not winning the Royal Rumble match on Sunday. They wasted 43 minutes on this. Technically, if I wanted to stop watching after the Roman Reigns Kevin Owens interview, knowing that this was next... I could have done the review after that, and I would, everything would have been fine. But tonight, WWE, they had an effort of, okay, we just want to get by tonight, and we want to get to the Royal Rumble. That's what it was. But, I mean, it, I, I'm not going to sit here and yell about what happened, because it means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. I could sit here and yell... Uh, about the last 43 minutes of the show, but at, at the end of the day, it means nothing. So, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching the review tonight. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, man. We gained four new subscribers last night um, with the preview and predictions for Royal Rumble. We gained four new subscribers so thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate that. Your support means absolutely everything to me. And it makes me want to strive for greatness here on the Big Fight Field channel. Let's try to get to 350 subscribers pretty soon. Say? We're uh, 8 subscribers away from that. So that would make us halfway to 400 subs here on the channel. Comment down below. What did you guys think of tonight's episode of SmackDown? Hit that like button if you like what you heard from me in the video tonight. Follow me on Twitter, at Colin underscore Joseph. Still trying to get the 2,000 followers over there. And guys, like I said earlier, make sure you go check out those three videos. Raw Review, AEW Dynamite Review, and the preview predictions for Royal Rumble with TM161. Guys, I will see you here Sunday night. I'll be back Sunday night right here on the Big Fight Field channel for your Royal Rumble review. Hopefully I'm coming on here with a positive attitude and talking about a very good show. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe. And, and as always, be classy.